So today we're going to look into clear cognizance. Now this is about knowing, knowing things naturally where you've potentially not been taught anything or told anything. A typical example of this is when the phone rings, you know who it is, even though you weren't expecting a call from them. Uh, another one is dreaming about somebody and then the next day that person contacting you. It is just a knowing. And many people may say this is where the psychic mediumship comes in because you just tend to know things and you can speak them out very, very clearly without having to do research or learning or being told. So some people have this clear stronger than other clears, but the truth is, like I've said many times, we all have all of these senses, all of these clears. So what I love about clear cognizance is that it is this unshakable faith of speaking your truth and actually knowing and getting the evidence that what you've said is correct. This takes absolute faith. And this has definitely been one of the biggest things in my mediumship journey is using this ability when I'm doing a reading with my clients with no tools, no cards or anything, but just trusting all of my senses. So trusting my vision and my hearing and my senses and my knowing, because you have to have the knowing because it comes in and creates this beautiful harmonic symphony of mediumship. So this is something that we naturally use every day. We use our intuition with this. And quite often it is coming from different dimensions and different realms. So we are actually accessing different um, concepts like our Akashic records. So the knowing that we hold within ourselves, within our DNA can come through from past lives and our Akashic records. It can also come through our DNA from our ancestors. So the deep knowing can be of just knowing how to do healing, of knowing what to say, of like tapping into predictions of what's going to happen and some of my clients can predict if somebody is going to die or if somebody is ill or you know um, things that are going to happen which they couldn't possibly know and this is purely a spiritual experience that we bring into our human body so the knowing part of the human reality is extremely spiritual and this is where it gets doctors and the medical profession absolutely kind of like in an absolute confusion of how could this possibly be because it's quite miraculous so this is definitely something I love to play with and something that I use with my mediums and my certification quite deeply so an example that we can use is to play with psychometry. So psychometry is technically when somebody is holding an item so you can tune into their loved one. But what I like to do is a little bit different because I do a lot of online stuff. And I like to say, what is in here? I did this today in my membership in um, Spiritual Magnificence. I was like, what is in here? And, you know, what I've got in here is a couple of different things. So I want people that work with me to tap into their knowing by really using all of their senses, but also what do they know? What do they know? What do they know? And how can you sharpen the sense? Unshakable faith is a really big part of doing this work. And for me, the first time I went to do a reading and I was shaking, I was absolutely petrified. And I heard this kind of voice like saying, put down your cards. It was hearing that in my head, right? So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not allowed to use cards. And I stood there and I said, I'm just going to tell you what I what I feel, what, what I see, what I know. And all of my clears came into a symphony and I'm seeing this vision of this man. And then I'm saying, what else? I'm using questions, which we'll talk about in another video. And then sh he's showing me these two children. And then I'm seeing colors, um, their hair color, their eye color. And all of my senses were coming in and it was just this deep knowing, this feeling within my heart that this message was crucial to get through for the person that I was reading for, for the sitter. And it blew my mind at the end when I said to her, 
you can tell me that I'm a liar. You know, you can tell me that I just made all of that up. And she said, that is the best reading I have ever had. I've been trying to contact my uncle for three years. And today you brought him through. You told me what he looked like. You gave me the message. And the truth is, if, if it wasn't for my deep knowing that I was a medium inward, because I had no evidence outward, if it wasn't for my deep Deep knowing that there was such a strong message that needed to get to that person. If I hadn't used my knowing abilities to ask that person if I could practice a reading, if I hadn't used in my knowing abilities to know what I know, which is a sense, right? It's a sense, it's a feeling, but it's this unshakable faith that whatever I tell my clients, whatever I'm telling you now is going to resonate, is going to make a difference. So that is what I want you to take today because when you are doing mediumship mastery, it's not just about reading a card. It's not just about trying to get a spirit through. It's not just about um, connecting someone to their loved ones. It is really so much deeper. It's this deep knowing that whatever you're bringing forward for that person, whatever you're saying, most probably isn't going to make any sense to you. It most probably will make no sense at all. And you're most probably going to be thinking, what is going on? Am I a fraud? You know, the fraud feeling comes up a lot, which is a whole other conversation. But when someone gives you evidence of what you knew to be true, when you had, there was no way in hell you could possibly know those things. This is really it's really solidifying that you are not just a human body. You're not just a carbon um, body, a DNA body here. You are a being with a body. And this body is here to be utilized as a gorgeous gift that it is. And your knowing sits within your cells. It sits within your aura. And you stream information from different dimensions, from your different spirit guides, your spirit teams, the light beings, the guardians, the guides of the highest frequencies, realms, and vibrations. And you are a part of that realm. So I hope that this has um, enlightened you in some way. And I'd love you to do the PDF to see what do you know about being clear cognizant? What do you know about this? What do you know about you and your knowing? And where have you just known something to be so true? It's a little bit different to the other senses. And where have you just used unshakable knowing and faith to go for what you want? And then you look back and go, thank God I went with what I knew. Because now here I am doing something out of the box and it worked. And I'm feeling all the feels and the, of the evidence that knowing is one of the strongest superpowers that I have. See you soon.